All right, guys, so today for science, we're gonna be talking about the weather. We've got some key words, sky, temperature, wind, precipitation. Those are those four factors of weather. We've got the thermometer, we've got rain, gauge, uh, wind vane. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna read some, and then I do have an activity where you can either go outside and um, you could also just look out the window and I want you to write one full sentence um, and try to think beyond the typical uh, descriptions of weather um, and write what you notice or see. Um, like typical descriptions that I mean would be, it's hot, it's cold, it's raining. I want you to go deeper. You could say something like, I wonder why the grass feels wet today. Was it wet yesterday? Anyway, let's go ahead and read, and then I can't wait to hear how your activity goes. Great job, everyone. People have been experiencing weather their entire lives. Whether playing in the snow, chasing leaves in the wind, jumping in the rain puddles, or bundling up against the cold. Exploring weather and building on prior experiences helps us to better understand the different kinds of weather phenomena we experience every day. Weather is an important part of our lives on Earth. People often look outside to see the weather um, and what it is before they begin their day. Observing weather can give us clues that helps us dress for the day. So it'll help you also plan for activities that you're going to do or um, prepare for a storm if that is coming. Today we will observe, identify, and describe three different types of local weather. We'll investigate the four factors that describe weather and the state of the sky, temperature, wind, and precipitation. What's the forecast? The weather forecast predicts the, what the temperature and air conditions will be in the near future. There's a wide variety of types of weather. The weather can be sunny or stormy. It can be warm or cool. It can also be rainy, cloudy, or windy. Sometimes weather is severe. A blizzard, a thunderstorm, or a hurricane may happen quickly. When we get information ahead of time, we can prepare for it. Being prepared helps us stay safe. A meteorologist is a person whose job is, um, it is to forecast the weather. There are many tools available to help the meteorologist do his job. A common tool for getting an accurate measurement of the temperature is a thermometer. A high temperature probably means plenty of sunshine for everyone. In rainy weather, a meteorologist uses a rain gauge. A rain gauge gives numerical data about how much rain is falling outdoors. After it rains, you may be able to see a rainbow. A rainbow appears when the sun comes out and the rain is still and there's still rain in the air. Wind brings us weather. It blows clouds from one place to another. It is helpful to know which direction the wind is blowing. A wind vane provides this information. Knowing the wind direction helps a meteorologist know what weather is coming. Weather forecasts are not always right. As our knowledge about weather gets better, the forecasts become more accurate. Next, we're gonna answer some questions together. Thank you guys for reading with me. What is a weather forecast? Hmm, if you have to go back and read some from the article, in a second, we're gonna talk about what the answer to that question is. So the weather forecast is actually a prediction of temperature and air conditions in the near future. What is a person whose job it is to forecast the weather called? As we learned, the person whose job it is to forecast the weather is called a meteorologist. Now I want you to name one weather tool and say what it's used for. If you said one tool, you could either say a thermometer, a rain gauge, or a wind vane. If you said a thermometer, it would be determined to determine air temperature. If you said a rain gauge to determine the amount of rain that fell or precipitation or if you set a wind vane that would help you find the direction of the wind now we're going to get personal 
uh, what is your favorite kind of weather and why? My favorite kind of weather is actually going to be a day that is sunny and warm and just a beautiful day. Um, and it may have a little bit of dew on the ground from the evening before. So I can't wait to see what your description would be. Lastly, our question is, do you think the job of a meteorologist is difficult or easy? And then you need to explain why you think that. So this is really another opinion question. Personally, I don't think it's the easiest job, but that's because to determine the weather, so many people are counting on you. So I think it would be really difficult and a lot of pressure. Can't wait to hear what you guys think.